Hey guys, this is my new cosplay build. I'm Gus from the underrated hit anime, Burke. I've got a big sword that does the crouch pokes like this, and a big jump like this. I'm gonna summon my friends and fight some invaders. Wish me luck, guys. Colossal swords have had a rough time with Elden Ring. From being universally hated for the teabag lunge, the awful aim punch, and numerous balance patches that caused a good deal of the folks who used them to jump ship to the Serpent Hunter, it's been a wild ride. But through all the mess, Colossal Swords have endured, snorting the thin fine line between being pretty solid weapons and just being meme fuel. Welcome to Scrub Armory. Colossal Swords have some of the highest single hit damage numbers in the game, almost as much as Bleed Nagis. They also benefit from having some of the best hyper armor and poise damage in the game, which sounds good on paper but comes at a steep cost, speed. Their attack and recovery speed is so slow in fact that opponents with faster weapons have enough time to hit you first, roll away, fold their laundry, file their taxes, have the DLC trailer drop, and hit you again before your animation finishes. These benefits and drawbacks together add up to a playstyle that incentivizes using your hyper armor to throw your weight around, interrupting and trading attacks that other weapons just can't, and using your high damage numbers to bully people. But this isn't a perfect solution. Trading is risky for you, even with damage negation and heavy armor. And just like in real life, nobody wants to play with a bully. People you fight with colossal swords start to become passive enough to give uh, arena sweat lords run for the money. Because of this, if you want to succeed with Colossal Swords, you're going to need to go back to the days before L2 gaming, dust off the old invaders playbook, and learn how to fight like a shifty scumbag. Starting off, you need to get comfortable with switching between fighting locked and unlocked. Let's face it, most of the people you're invading will either be honest co-opers or gankers, which means that the first things they're going to do are run you down, circle around you for an easy backstab, or turn you into goo with projectile spam. Getting tunnel vision from the lock-on mechanic is practically asking for a wizard or a jump attack spammer to put you in the forever box. So much of good colossal sword play is achieved by being aware of your surroundings and able to turn on a dime. Whether that's to hit someone trying to backstab you, hit someone who's trying to roll away, or bait passive players into entering your range. Because your attacks are so slow and your recovery is so bad, unpredictability is your lifeline. Speaking of unpredictable, let's talk about mix-ups. A mix-up is just any follow-up attack that requires a different defensive response than what is normal or expected. If you're finding that people can just dodge everything you do, try doing something different or weird. Alternate between using one-handed or two-handed attacks, use an offhand weapon or a spell, stagger your R1s or use the follow-up R2, there's a lot of options here. Playing unlocked is also key to kiting. Kiting, for those of you who actually touch grass every now and again, is a strategy where you try to move your enemies in a way that's more convenient for you. In our case, try grouping your enemies together in a cluster to get the most out of your damage. Usually this is achieved by some fancy maneuvering while unlocked to get two or three party members in front of you, then hitting them with an attack or an Ash of War. After taking so much damage, they're either going to be dead or looking to heal, which gives you options to either pursue them or recuperate. On the topic of pursuit, Colossal Swords have pretty awful chase down, so I recommend having an option that's good at doing that. I personally had the most success with spears and whips, but anything that's relatively faster along will do the trick. And while stealth isn't the first thing that comes to mind when you think about big, heavy weapons, they're a vital part of your toolbox, namely because people only dodge attacks they know about, so your slow speed doesn't matter here. And when you do enough damage to one or two shot dudes, ambushes and surprise attacks become a legitimate threat, causing panic which you can push to your advantage. And lastly, there's the heal punish. At most level ranges, Colossal Swords should do enough damage to equal a drink of red Kool-Aid, so it's an excellent strategy to hit people as soon as they take a sip, wasting their heal and resetting the encounter back to your favor. But what do I know? I'm just a scrub. <laughs> 